What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about foam cannons and how to properly maintain, service, and, and clean your foam cannon so you get the best results over a long period of time without it having any issues. Now, I will state uh, right off the bat, guys, some of the some of the cheaper units, some of the ones you can get on Amazon in that $15 to $25 range, they're not all serviceable. Um, and I'll touch on that later down the road when we go in to, uh, and I'll show you how to change out the filters. Those are not serviceable. You can't get them open. So keep that in mind because those ones, once they start kind of getting gummed up, it's going to be done. You're going to have to get a new one. Um, in this case, I have my MJJC Foam Cannon Pro here. This is the V2. This is the one I sell on my site. You can also get it on Amazon. I'll link all that stuff in the description for you guys so you can find that really easily and get it if you'd like. Um, this unit is completely serviceable. So are the higher end ones, the MTM, the Griots, the, the Max Shine, the, like all those ones, uh, the Atoms, all those ones are all serviceable. No issues, you can get in there, you can open up the filter and clean it out and all that good stuff. Again, it's just those cheaper ones that you may have some issues with, um, but let's move on. Okay guys, so we have three different foam cannons here, right? We have, again, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro V2, we've got the Max Shine, and we've got the Chemical Guys, what is this, the Boss Big Mouth or something like that. Um, and just really quickly, I wanted to talk about the fundamentals of a foam cannon. You have your basic canister, uh, the feed tube, the orifice which sits right behind the quick connect and then you have the foam filter which is kind of the most important part when your foam cannon starts not working properly. It's usually just that that foam filter is clogged. But first guys, uh, before we jump into actually disassembling the thing and changing off the filters and all that kind of good stuff, I'm just going to show you a quick way to clean out and service your pressure washer foam cannon um, as you're using it, right? The last thing you want to do is like I did here, uh, I used the foam can. There's still a little bit of solution left from the soap and it's just been sitting in there. Now this was a pH neutral and uh, wax free soap, so not a big deal. But if this had any sort of wax additive into it, it could be clogging that filter. So basically after you're done foaming down your car and there's a little bit, a little bit left, just use the rest of that on the car. Not a big deal. Just keep blowing it onto the car. Let that soap sit on there. Once that's gone, you're going to see that this, the foam can is just spraying water. Well, at that point, let it spray water a little bit and then take this top and loosen it up so the more water flow is going through and continue to just blast water through the foam cannon for, I don't know, 15, 30 seconds, something like that. Not a long time, nothing to be crazy about. And basically what that does is it opens up that whole column through here, accessing to where the foam filter is up here, which can get clogged up and it's pushing a bunch of water through there and rinsing that filter out so that you won't have any issues down the road. Super, super simple. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. I'm gonna hook it up to my pressure washer up front. It's gonna blow some foam. It'll switch to no foam, just water, and I'll loosen this up. And then we'll jump into, if that's not helping you, how to change out the filter. Okay guys, so again, still a little bit of uh, soap in here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. Oof strong stream. And that part doesn't really matter. You can use the, the fan angle. I just keep it at what I'm normally at around that 40 degrees. So there we go. The foam coming out still. And we'll just keep waiting, keep waiting. We're still blasting foam. This thing does such a great job because it has a weighted bearing that sits in the foam filter. So even though I have a little bit and I'm sitting at an angle, the straw is still staying in the solution. There we go, now we're blowing water. Okay, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up. Let that blast out even more. Just for a little bit, we're just gonna go ahead and rinse all this out while I'm here. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we're just blowing water now. We're just rinsing off that filter as I go. And I'll tighten it back down. and I'm good to go. So now the container is all empty, the filter's been rinsed out, I can store it and we're good. All right, so there you go guys, a super, super easy way to just flush out your foam can and keeping that filter clean between uses, really, really easy to do. Now I don't even do that very often personally, but I am using my foam can day after day, multiple times a day, so it kind of just stays wet doesn't allow anything to kind of build up and get hard on that filter but uh, like i said if you're storing it just do that and you should be good uh, but if you do need to go a step beyond that if it's still not just working the way it was originally there's a few things you can do and the main thing is just replacing out that filter so let's go ahead and jump into that now and show you exactly how to do that so that you get the best performance out of your foam cannon 
So in order to get to that foam filter, we don't have to address the, the orifice. If your foam cannon was working properly, it's not the orifice's fault here. Um, if you're not getting the amount of foam that you want, you can switch out the orifice to a smaller one. I have a video on that. I'll link it up here uh, for you guys or down in the description. I also have a video on, on everything that creates more foam. From talk about using deionized water, warm water, all that kind of stuff to different uh, orifice sizes and different filters. So I'll link that down in the description for you guys as well. But basically there's typically two different types of ways to access your foam filter. On the, mat, on the uh, MJJC, it's just this little pin here. And a lot of them will be like this. So you just have to get a small screwdriver, push that pin inward, just like so. Pull that out and then it pops out the other side. So then I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers and yank that guy out. Okay, then we can t take this whole front end piece off. Okay, and with this one, the foam filter, as you can see, is right in there. Actually, I don't know if you can see that, but it's right in there. So the foam filter is right in there. We're just going to open this nozzle up, take our little screwdriver again, the small one, and just press through and just try and get that to release. So in this case, I'm actually going to grab this little poker tool. Again, I open up the uh, prongs in the front that adjust the angle of the pressure washer from 0 to 40, 45 angle and push that out. So with the MJJC guys, this is the only one that has a different type of filter. It has a steel mesh filter followed by a foam filter followed by another steel mesh filter that sandwiches them all together. And it's the same with all different types of filters. Typically it's just one of these guys a little bit thicker. That's what these ones will have and we'll get into that in a second. Um, but basically what happens is these little filters, especially if you use a wash and wax, something that has some wax additive in, in the soap, these guys get clogged and then they don't perform the way they should. So again, if you need to, you can replace them and this is how you do it. Um, as far as with the MJJC, like I showed you, and then we're gonna move on to the Max Shine, which is the same exact way to do it as the chemical guys and most other uh, foam cannons. Once that's replaced, you can just put this back in, slide it back over. You want to get it to seat over the O-ring. There we go. And then just make sure everything works properly. So make sure it can still turn and that this piece turns as well and properly functions. Good to go. Now that we have, know that that's all good, we can stick the pin back in. And then you just got to work that, oh, actually it just slid in nicely. And then just work it in a little bit just to get it flush and you're good to go. Okay, so now the other type, like I said, there's a push pin or there's this kind that's a little prong that goes through to two push pins on the other side. And this honestly is a little bit nicer because it's easier to work with as opposed to trying to push that little pin. You can just grab a little flathead screwdriver, get it behind that part, pull that up, releases, and now this whole piece will come off. There we go, good to go. Okay guys, now this little brass piece came off in the nozzle, but usually that just sits right here and this is where you want to pay attention to because this is the part, again, the filter's in here and sometimes with the cheaper ones, this will be locked on there and you can't get it off. But this one you can just separate, knock this out. There it is. There is the foam filter. And as you can see, this one's got some buildup on it. But basically there is the foam filter for other foam cannons. This is basically the same filter across the board for all the others. Again, it's just a steel mesh, uh, but a thicker piece and you can replace that as well. So just basically just put that back in, reassemble. Okay, and again, we wanna make sure that presses over the sleeve. There we go. And then check the function again. Again, on these higher end units, you can change between vertical and horizontal. That's why you can see this piece spinning. Uh, on the cheaper ones, you can't do that, but just make sure that this part's working properly. We're good to go there. Now let's go ahead and take the prong. Uh, this is the side, you'll flip that over and there's the side so that this seats in nicer. So let's go ahead and get that lined up, press those in, and we're good to go, back to work. Okay guys, so there you have it. Everything you need to know to get the most out of your foam cannon, if it starts getting clogged up, whatever. Like I said, just rinse it out to prevent it from getting clogged up, but if it gets clogged up, then you know how to change out the filter and get back to work. So that's it guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.